So now we just want to position the sun to match exactly as we can to our scene. So I have these two skyscrapers. I'll turn those off. And these are our temp geo. So as a ground plane, temp geo for placement, I'm rendering now. Again, only at 1K, so it renders fast. And then what we're looking for is our shadows, basically the angle of our shadows to match our scene. So save the image. Other images. And I've already done a bunch go into Photoshop, and then we'll just lay them over our Photoshop file. Uh, let me make it 100%. And then if I just one select the shadow this is pretty much an easy way to look the shadows off obviously it's too far up and then basically if I just keep going through these you can see how I basically started to eyeball the Sun position uh, this one's a little bit just off and the shadows aren't long enough so we're looking for the angle of the shadow and the length of the shadow for how the Sun is this one's pretty close, but you can see the shadow ends too soon, so we need a longer shadow. Now if we go into number four, this one's much longer, it goes almost on edge of screen. It kicks in slightly too much, and then now let's go into five. Turn it off. This one's not bad. It's yeah, you, know, you can see it's a hair's off, but for the most part it wouldn't be anything major. And then basically you can look at the other shadows in the scene, the foreground screen right building, that shadow is angling down. And if you what you really wanted, you could add an auxiliary um, geometry so that the shadows would cast over those buildings. So now let's turn on the regular skyscrapers. Uh, do a new render. I'm gonna, oh, the alpha gain that you can do in the image plane, see I'm turning it up now to one and back to zero. Basically, the image plane is still there, but the alpha gain being at zero means it won't render. Uh, and what's good about this is it will preserve your alphas in your render. So I think I still have the wrong shutter speed on this, but you can take a look at what the buildings look like. So I've basically done a couple curves to make them match in.